fix on Dash Radio. Get the shit. What's goody? What's goody? We're back with the fix. This is Codigo Red. We're gonna get it popping today. What's up, J Well? What up? What up? We back in the building. Uh, our boy Stevie. You know he's doing his usual uh celebrity shit today, so he might be coming in later on in the interview. But we gonna hold it down. You know. Of course, as always. So what we got popping this week? Man, we got a lot of hot topics to talk about later on. I but know. Uh, today we got uh Jackie Long. Is gonna be in the first how first hour along with um, we got somebody else on an up and coming show that's Ian gonna be Simmons. Coming, Ian Simmons. So you know we got some dope actors and then you know when you hear that exclusive content on the Fix app, it's gonna be some real dope guests on that. And you know we're gonna bring you the hot music every week, every from single our week. personal playlist. We're not playing just what's new, but we playing what we personally like. So when you hear music on here, it's actual music that the um, hosts actually like. It's good music, and good music involves old music and the music that's popping right now. But let's get into these hot topics. I mean, I got a little pump pissing on money. Like, I don't know. I, if Even if I had all the big bands, I don't even know if I feel that bored to where I need to piss on my money. We got Quavo Honcho just dropped his new little album. Wu-Tang Clan wanted to come out with the Saga series of their group. We got T.I. slamming Kanye. Kanye did some flugazy this past weekend Kanye in the White did some House. Kanye. Kanye did some Kanye. Kanye <laughs> giving us yay being once selfish. again. Get, being selfish. Yeah. And we then we get also, that later. Right, right, exactly. I got a lot to say on that shit. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Belly, um, a, a more so newer artist in the game, but he's up. He's popping, has uh, music with Travis Scott, a little uh, music with Drake, mm. and a few more artists. And then we have Kobe and LeBron. You yeah. know, Kobe giving us his, his two cents about the whole LeBron trade. Yeah. And then we got K Camp. I love K Camp. He's mm. so underrated. And a lot of people don't know about him. But I think because he is R and B and R and B is dying. But you know, I gotta I gotta talk about my boy today. Yeah. But I'm ready to get Jackie Long in here. Yeah, so, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna play one quick song and then we're gonna come back with our first guest, Jackie Long. You listen to the fix on Dash Talk X. Yeah. <laughs> get yourself right, get yourself right. We have with us the film. Actor, director, producer, and I think I even heard he's a musician, Jackie Long. Who is that? <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. What's up? <laughs> What's How you doing? Up? What they say? I'm a, uh, 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 what they say I was? All the stuff you said. Uh, actor, director, producer. A Keep little going. bit of music I heard. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> this is some stuff. <laughs> It, I mean, it's you. You missing some stuff. Keep I mean, going. Tell, well, then tell me what I'm missing. I ain't gonna tell you nothing because you should have known. <laughs> Listen, where we at? Good morning to y'all, man. How what y'all up, doing? Man. Man, thanks thanks for around. taking the time to come in. <laughs> but let's talk about the person to your left. Your boy not being here. Your boy Stevie. Oh. That's supposed to be his chair. Oh, this at? supposed to be Stevie C. Yeah, right next to you, man. And you got the DGK shit. He on might repping. be next to us. He's so black. Is he there? <laughs> Stevie, Stevie, just say good morning. <laughs> nah, man, Stevie called me. He said yeah. he's stuck in Vegas. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a weather issue right now yeah. in Cali. So, you know, he probably, you know, the flight flights probably can't yeah. go off the runway right now. So all <laughs> I can say is I give Stevie a little chance. I'm just going to call him up to freeload and get some more of his uh, clothes, <laughs> you know, since he messed this up and tell yeah. him to bring some other stuff. But I'm not going to say that on this. <laughs> Hey, yeah. this is uncut. You can say whatever on this. Man. Okay, well, uncut it. Uncut it. But I'm not going to say it still. Kids, go ahead. <laughs> but, man, I've seen you've been doing a lot for Steve. a long time in the industry, man. You was just recently in Nipsey Hussle's new video. Oh, you seen Double Up. Yeah, psh, man, that's my shit. Of okay, course. okay. What you Did you like it? I love it. You love it? What I you love, love everything that Nipsey Hussle does. I love that he has his girl in there repping his girl. And then not only that, he got his personal... Homies in the video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got a bunch of people in there that he ain't really fucking with. And he's always using his videographers Real and everything. Dude. It's always the home team. I like that. I like that he's just not. He's sticking to the script. And that's why everything he does pays off. And he does a lot for his community, yep. too. Yep, community, yeah. family, yeah, yeah, and all his day good. one day one homies, man. I love Nipsey. I'm, look, yeah. I, I appreciate him shooting out. You know, my uh, the boy uh, Jesus over there, shout out to me and told me they wanted me to do the video. It was a, a cool concept, too, mm -hmm. you know, just to have me and Lauren London together. And I played her boyfriend, I mean, her, her husband or whatever. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, you seen the video. It was just yeah. fun and all. Yeah. That. Everybody been 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 talking about, it, especially the yeah. scene where I say to uh, go show them the Picasso in the house. Yeah. So you know, it's just I, it's been fun, man. That's what's up. That's what's fun. up. You're funny. You're a little like comedian over here, huh? A little bit. You, little bit. You should have co- comedian on the internet as well. Used to, you know, used to, <laughs> you know, when they start paying you money, you gotta straighten up. <laughs> Straight, they be goofy all day. Shit, only you be goofy on your own time. Man, yeah. you know you don't seem like you've aged a bit from ATL. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I appreciate that. And then I, you played on the Parkers too. Girl, y'all did some googling today. <laughs> IMDb, because y'all said some old stuff. But I, Parkers, I did do the Parkers years ago. What's so funny? Even though y'all brought that up, I used to do background work on the Parkers. Mm-hmm. And then I did it so good, and I was so likable on there. The producers ended up giving me a role on the show, just a little, like, small little pro, uh, role for a whole episode. And it was it was real, real cool. I'll never forget that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know, Jay Wolf reflected on the new. I'm reflecting on the past a little bit because yeah. those are two of my Well, let's talk favorite. about the past, then we go to the new. I don't care. I ain't got nothing to do because Stevie Williams is playing. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you were doing background work on the Parkers. Yep, so right. were you more interested in doing background work originally when it came to TV? Or did you want to be in front of the camera? I always definitely dreamed about being in front of the camera, but I, I, I'm never a person who likes to rush or do anything. So background work was definitely like the, the, the blessing for me because I got to see background actors and I got to see the real actors who was in front of the camera, see how they act, like how they uh, interacted with the fans, interacted with the producers. I got to see everything, and that made me more interested in, like, you know what, I can do this, but how do you do it? I don't know. So what I did was, instead of always coming to, when I had to do background work, they probably gave us $80 or just that whole day or $50. But I said, you know what, I'm going to make my $50 special. And instead of coming up here to try to get at the girls or just to take pictures with the celebrities. Let me find out through the other background actors what y'all really up here for. So I used to sit down with some, and they used to introduce me to Backstage West magazines where you can find out how to do your headshots, how to do short films, how to find an agent, a commercial class, all this stuff. So when I used to go up there, it was more like I'm really going to work. I'm finna see how can I interact with these people to, to know how I can get to where these other actors is at instead of hanging with the ones who was up there just to see the girls and, and just just oh, I took a picture today. That wasn't my goal. My goal was find out how the hell can I get to where they at so people can like me like them. And background, I, like to this day, I even got to thank my friend Marlon uh, uh, Reed from where I'm from, Pasadena. His auntie was the one who introduced us to backstage. I mean, to uh, background acting, and I loved it. I never disrespect background actors, and I, you know, uh, background actors make a movie and a TV show better because without them, you don't have nothing. So you know, I. I, you know, I come from there, and I never disrespect it because I, I appreciate it, and I'm glad to be where I'm at now, even though I'm not where I w- would want to be, because you got to just keep working harder and harder, but I'm I'm grateful, and I'm blessed to be where I'm at right now. Like, so so I know you do a lot of grinding, because, you know, you've been building your career over time. What type of music you listen to when you're on your hustle and grind, man? Ah, <sighs> right now, you wouldn't believe it. I've been listening to some Mozzie, man. Okay. I love yeah. Mozzie. Yeah. I'm a real Cali dude. I'm a street yeah. dude. Y'all wouldn't even... Um, Think of it, but I'm from Altadena, Pasadena, and I it, it was yeah, it was the hood over Crips and Blood. So I know a lot yeah. of stuff I grew up off was like too short. DJ Quick, uh, 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 yeah. uh what's my man? The, uh, Sugar Free, of course, Sugar Free. I'm trying to think of you. Brother Lynch Hung, and oh, all hell that type yeah. of stuff. Sebo, uh, yeah. DJ. I grew up a old school man. Tech Nine, not Tech that. Nine, everybody. Yeah. So when when you get these dudes like Mozzie, remind me like. I don't know. Mozzie got some lyrics. I can say like from how he is, he, he can be like sound like a pop to me sometimes mm-hmm. because he just he lyrical. I like the dude. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he's a hood dude and he keep it real. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I know him a little bit just when I see him. I'm like, I like that dude and I'm glad his music is starting to get, you know, get better and get recognized. Yeah. So you were listening to his newest album, Gangman Landlord? Yeah, I've been listening to his. I've been listening to uh Have you been listening to Kevin Gates? I've been listening to Kevin Gates. Yeah, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Listen to my man it's been too Kevin many Gates. albums come out. You got right now, Usher album is banging. Okay, I almost had sex with myself this morning. This <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I've been listening to uh, Lil Baby. Mm, Lil yes. Baby been banging. Uh, uh, who else I've been listening to? Uh, you know what? I ain't gonna even lie. I keep it real. I 
got my list. So, 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 so far, who, what do you think will be the album of the year so far since we already in October? So from January to now, what do you think in this year has been the album of the year, if you had to pick one? That's a hard one, because there's been a lot of weird albums just coming out of nowhere. Yeah. You know, people farting in the album. Like, oh, <laughs> where that album come from? <laughs> um, <laughs> ah, let me, let me see. Let me see. Because you have so many, many. Because Pusha T came out this year. Mm. You got Lil Wayne album just came mm. out. You got Kanye album just came out. You got uh, J. Cole album just came out. Oh, I'm Kanye just, man. I know. I'm just that talking. Just I'm just saying. It's a lot of people <laughs> who just came out. And it'll be, you know, I have to really go back and listen mm. to some of these albums to really to really compare yeah. right now. Because, you know, everybody just coming out the blue with stuff. Eminem even just came out yeah. with one. So he came out like, with, was it two this year? <laughs> It came out with, was it two albums this year or the other one came <laughs> on the end of last nah, year? I don't. I think he only come out with one. One. This year. Okay. Yeah. It was a. It's a lot. Yeah. A lot but of he's albums. Been, he's been dropping a lot of music. I'm a, like you on know, movies I'm gonna go like with. Uh, I, I'm gonna still go with uh, Victory Lap. That's you my go with favorite. Victory Lap. Yeah, and that came out in February. We in October. You know what? And I'm not gonna say this because I am in the video. I'm a West Coast dude all <laughs> yeah. day. I would definitely pick somebody West Coast. Wasn't gonna be nobody from the East Coast. I'm yeah. not saying nothing against the East Coast. <laughs> it I'm just sounds like it's something against the East Coast. Let me tell you something. Your, your, your mouth a little bit too close to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> too loud. Too loud to the people. Too loud to the people. Right there. All I'm saying, I love the East Coast. I'm just saying, I'm from the West Coast, so I would just like if somebody asks me who my team is, I'm gonna say the Lakers. Yeah. All day. Like, so yeah. what I'm saying is. Nipsey would definitely be, because mm -hmm. I love him and YG. You know, yeah. these are all dudes that I love. So if I could pick all the West Coast, I'm just going to pick the West Coast. But, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, Nipsey, I'm proud of his album because he's been waiting on an album to, to to let us know who Nipsey Hussle really is. Yeah. And this album, I think, was remarkable for one to whatever, how many songs mm -hmm. he had. You know, and obviously, Double Up was one of everybody's favorites. So, yeah. you know, I just think what he talks about is very real. And he's a smart, intellectual dude. So you know, I, I'm I'm Nipsey Hustle. I'm gonna say Nipsey Hustle yeah. too. Fuck that's, that's two two to what? What's your what's your pick? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't have a favorite. I don't know. I couldn't. I can't pick one. Takashi, you don't say no Takashi. No, it's not Takashi. <laughs> I'm about to nine. say, man. Hell no. Nah. No, not him. Why you don't like Takashi? No, I like Takashi. Just that's stupid. Not somebody. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> that's just, not somebody. Shout out to Takashi. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. I'm just. He was about to say something. My bad. <laughs> that's his new hit, ain't it? No, stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. It's his new hit. But you know he's dope. But when I when I have to pick like a favorite album, I have to choose something with like I feel like has a lot of substance or content. It's something I can really rock to. LMA. LMA. Her album just came out, so you can't pick that. <laughs> nah. You can't pick that. I don't even listen to her. You don't like R&B? You don't like Ella May? I mean, I do a little bit. She's cool. I like her. She's a good artist, but I don't listen to her all the time. Okay. That's what's wrong. I thought you were going to say a girl because you a girl. I'm a girl? Yeah. No, I like, I I like a lot of East Coast music. Cash Doll or something? You know? <laughs> no. Like I don't like. I don't have too many Cardi like female B? favorite artists. I like Cardi B. Okay. Davies? Nicki you like Minaj? Davies? I like Davies, huh? Mm. Nicki Minaj? Nicki Minaj is dope. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like older Nicki Minaj. I mean, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, I like the like older Nicki Minaj. She's cool, you know. I just feel like, I feel like Nicki's just trying to fight for this spotlight right now. You know, and like, I feel like. She already had it. Yeah, like, she already had it. And I feel like because Cardi B, you know, she's, uh, she's popping. You know, Cardi B is the talk. And I feel like she wants to be the talk, you know. So, and she feels a little threatened. Cardi B, yeah, she's, she's doing it. I like Cardi. I, if I didn't, if this girl wouldn't do it, I'd be mad that she that she's not doing it because her personality is so great. It's like mm. give somebody some type of something with that personality, you know? Definitely. And she keep it real. She don't give a fuck. And at the end of the day, I love people like that. That whole demeanor of just I live life. I'm having fun. Ain't nothing stressing me out. I'm blessed to be where I'm at. I'm good. That's what she showed me. She needs her own show. She, does. she needs her own show. <laughs> she don't need her own show. Yes, let her, she let does. Let her keep doing this, enjoying life, and raising her baby. She gonna get all that. Show gonna be. She gonna get it's movies. Gonna she gonna get all that shit. Her, she too awesome right now. So, like, bu bu so before we get back into you know things that are <laughs> directly reflecting on you, this week has been another one of Kanye's fuck ups. Oh, <laughs> I gotta go shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit fucked up right now. I gotta go shit. How, how do you feel about what he just did? And you, um, did you get a chance to see Ti's little video clip he just released? 
where it shows him like in the Oval Office with a uh, Melania uh, lookalike stripping for him on top of the desk, and then he like walks off with her like he about to smash. Like he kissing asses, just doing too much. For yeah. <laughs> at at the end of the day, man, I try to stay out of that type of stuff that's going on in the world because I think uh, at the end of the day, it's it's too much attention on stuff that we don't need to have attention on. Mm. Like they say every day that it's this going on, it's this. I know he's trying to fix problems as well, but it's like sometimes some people are just trying to get attention. Yeah. And I, I'm not no attention person. You mm. know what I'm saying? It's like he's he's been just coming out the blue doing this and doing that. Mm. No problem. Speak. Everybody want to know what you got to speak. It's a free it's a free country. It's a free world, free mm. of speech. Do what you please, you yeah. know, but it's a lot of people that look up to you. Mm-hmm. That's where the problem comes at because a lot of people don't like, you know, our president today. Mm-hmm. So, you know, to 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 be a big fan of somebody and then you always spazzing out, it's like I really don't know what to say about this deal. If anything, I just hope whatever he's doing, I hope it's a plan mm-hmm. and it come out right for him. Whatever he's <laughs> According to, to him, on. he feels like Superman. Oh, yeah. When he I know. I him. heard he said that. It's yeah. like. I ain't nobody Superman. Superman, not Superman. No, no, no. You know? No, so. what makes it even better, he said something about, <laughs> he said something about, he was in the White House and was like, you know, as a kid, you know, I didn't spend that much time with my father. And, you know, I just wanted to play catch with him. And that's how I feel about you. And I you want to play catch with Donald Trump. It's pretty much. Like, <laughs> it's like, it, it's too much, man. Yeah. It's like, if anything, let's focus on the real matter in hand. Mm-hmm. Instead of focusing on what Kanye got to say, he's not the president. Yeah, you know, I, I love Kanye. I'm not going just just like the, he's done great things in his past before he got to who he is now. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to hate the guy. You yeah. know, he is, is. Everybody got their own opinion in life, and his mm-hmm. opinion is that you either like him or you don't. You mm-hmm. either want to pay attention to the shit that he's doing, or you can change the channel. Aside it's of our, his, uh, know, aside of his current political views and things that he chose to support, how do you feel about his music within the last? Three to five years. I think most of his music that he's been doing before, now what he's been doing, mm-hmm. I think before was great. Mm-hmm. You know, now I think he's so fed up with these other rappers in his knowledge that come out saying whatever, bop, bop, bop. Like when he came out with that song, that was literally, woo beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's letting y'all know, like, if they can do it and y'all love me and y'all, I try to tell y'all about this shit, I'm going to do it too and see if y'all, not even if y'all don't listen to it, if y'all gonna fucking talk about it, yeah. and people does whatever the fuck he co- that comes to his yeah. mind, so I just think he just so fed up. It's just like he's just releasing music just because mm-hmm. he know he can. He's doing like different stuff than everybody going to oh, Utah to to record or whatever, and he's putting seven songs on everybody's album. He's produ- he's just doing different stuff that nobody's done. Mm-hmm. He's having you know just doing different. He's just. They always say an artist that's a person that's creative is always weird. Mm-hmm. And if you love Kanye and you know he's a cool guy, or whatever, he's just a weird guy. He's been through a lot. Not to bring up his past, everybody know what happened, but it's something in everybody's past that mm-hmm. something happened. Yeah. You can't just feel for Kanye all the time. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying, he he has issues a little bit, and he people stress over their issues if they think back a little bit, and mm-hmm. you don't have somebody to talk to all the time in his mind. If he thinks social media is his outlet to talk to people, then that's how he feels. I'm going to talk to the people that are listening to me because I can't go nowhere else. If I'm making a fool of myself at the end of the day, fuck it. I'm making a fool of myself. At least I got my word out and I spoke it. Like when when he went to TMZ, we didn't need to know all that shit. (laughs) But he told us this shit. You know, it's his opinion. It's his shit. If he don't, Mm -hmm. right now, it's like he's in this world where he don't care if you love me or you hate me. Mm -hmm. He like, fuck it. I'm doing something, whatever it is. And you know what? That's actually a good space to be in when you can walk around not giving a fuck what people think about you, knowing if you like whatever decisions you make, whether they be good or bad. Yep. If you comfortable with yourself to walk around not giving a fuck, that's a good space to be in. But there's also a responsibility. The message that you're getting out there could be some fucked up shit, especially when you got the younger that's what, generation yep. that's easily influenced. But you've been somebody positive in the acting game. You know what I'm saying? Building your career. Is there a, a some type of role out there that you would like to get that you haven't gotten yet, like in a biopic or That's, anything like you that? You just said it, man. I would love and dream. I don't care if I'm too tall. They have to put make me look short. I would love to play Sammy Davis Jr., man. 
Okay. If any biopic I could play. You had to play on your knees the whole time. You too tall nah, to be there. Nah, nah. They figured out this TV. It's movie. It's movie. Yeah, it's movie. Y'all remember uh, uh, Marlon Wayans played a baby. <laughs> True. Yeah, but yeah. You, have, you have to be like Martin Martin when he played uh, Roscoe. Like <laughs> small, like walking on your knees. They just got to cut my ankles off. Yeah, That's yeah. it. I'll be his height. You hype. too tall to be there. Nah, but I would love to play something like, yeah. like uh, um, Sammy Davis Jr. Because mm. not just his story. He had a, a talent, which was tapping. Yeah. You know, and performing. So, mm-hmm. you know, to have a character where you play all them different mm-hmm. type of role in one, that's that's showing your your craft. Like I can I'm an entertainer, I can I'm a musician, I'm 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 everything. Yeah. So something like that, definitely a biopic I would love, love to do, man. And yeah. you know, of course action flicks, science fiction, all that type of stuff. But of course your dream is to always do something like Jamie Foxx, play a Ray Charles and get an Oscar off of it. You yeah. know, it, it let you know let you know how serious you was. And taking that role and how people really believe that was you. You know, like I really thought Jamie Foxx was Hell fucking Ray yeah. Charles. You know, Hell I think yeah. that year if he would wouldn't have won that Oscar, mm-hmm. I think it was all fucking somebody was hating on him or something. Yeah. What's you the know? dude that play uh he played uh he plays on um Black Panther, the, the main actor. What's his name? I forgot oh, his um, name. Like, oh you talking about uh, uh yeah, Aqua not- <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about yeah. though, right? Yeah, yeah. Black like, Panther. Just say Black Panther. It, it seemed like that nigga get all the roles, the, the, the biopics, the listen, superheroes. The nigga like fuck, has been crazy. Yes. Every when he first came out, he played Jackie Robinson. Robinson yeah. yeah. Okay, that's amazing as a black man. That's an amazing mm. role to play, and he killed. Then from there, he played James Brown. Mm. Then he played uh some some the. Who was the phone dude or uh who was it? Uh he just played uh it was another dude he just played. I haven't seen that movie yet. And then he plays Black Panther. Mm-hmm. I mean, goddamn, I wanna talk to this man <laughs> and say, what is going on? How is he getting everything yeah. that come out? He gonna play Obama in a minute. Hey, you know, so they gonna have him know. look <laughs> like something. I mean, damn. You know, you know a biopic they need to come out with? Talk to me. Marvin Gaye. Yeah. That story, oh my, that's the one you should try to go for. Now that'd be a dope yeah. movie. And you ain't got to be on your knees to play the role. You can be the hype. <laughs> <laughs> now Marvin Gaye, that's a cold. Cause Man. Then his son or, or his dad killed the him. The dad killed him. Dad not too far him. from here in that, yeah, in that house hear, they had. You know, but I would look, that, now that yeah. is a, a nice bio. And, and that's not even like, because I read like the, the autobiography on him. That's just like not even the, the I mean, that's a crucial that's part of his life. But his early life. That shit's gonna be the the movie. That's nah, the I one. Like this, put a script together. Whoever man. working on the Marvin Gaye movie, my name Jackie Long, and I never do you wrong. Just hit me on my agent's phone, and I'll be there by the quick of a tone. <laughs> so, do you feel like you're working as much as you want to be working right now? I would. I don't care if I was working every day. I'm never working enough. Mm. I think it, it. I just. I'm a person who just loves to work. You know, and and I think if it's a job that you love, it should never be, you should never be not working. You should always be doing the job you love because it should never seem like work. So I will always want to work every day when I can. If it's on a TV show, a movie, it's never too much work for me. I just just love working. Yeah, I saw recently you posted something about um, no bullshit on your uh, page. Is that going to be like a film? Who was you looking up? When you right Google. here, you right here. Yeah, <laughs> what you Google? Are, right? where, do it, where do it say no bullshit? No one's, no one's no, no, no. Googling let's, anything. Let's see where it say no bullshit. Let's see where it say no bullshit. Because if you thought the movie name was no bullshit, I'm going to have to no bullshit your ass. Okay, did, did she just said I got a movie called No Bullshit. <laughs> Is a movie oh, called Bodied. People you know, today, look, go do it's your... A lot, it's a lot of words in all caps right now. It's right? one word. <laughs> it's one word. And it's body. I it's wasn't one even word, too but it's a whole bunch of other words and caps on this on this picture too. Well, let's talk about no bullshit. <laughs> on no bullshit. Let's talk about body since you want to talk about let's no bullshit. Let's talk about body and how the movie is about no bullshit. Then <sighs> the bo- the movie is definitely about no bullshit. The movie, see, the movie might be. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> nah, body uh, is a movie written by Alex Twist, directed by Joseph Kahn. Produced by Eminem, ah, Jill Harton. <coughs> it's a great movie. It's a movie is a it is is it's a free of speech movie. It's a battle rap movie 
showing the world the whole demographic of Ballard. I mean, they showing you from beginning to end how people how how they come up with they they thoughts, how they research, how they do everything. But the movie is basically about this uh, white boy named uh, uh, Adam, mm-hmm. named played by Kalen Worthy, and he's doing a thesis report on the word nigga, and and it takes place in Oakland, and I'm his favorite battle rapper named Ben Grimm. So he wants to do the thesis report on me on the word nigga, and I'm like, it's a racist ass dude. So to make a long story short, um, I teach him to, I'm, I, I make him become my protege, and I end up getting him into all these battle raps because he end up being a, a good dude, but I always t- teaches him the whole movie. Don't never uh, talk about personals on your opponent. Always talk about like shooting them or killing them or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because people, it can get rough in battle rap. They fight, they do whatever. So y'all have to see the movie because I don't want to tell y'all everything. But it's basically that whole concept, and I bring him in and enter him, get him into all these um, um, uh, uh, battles because I have a daughter who's sick with a lung disease. So I'm a. I don't want to tell y'all both of my characters that I'm like doing, but. I'm doing something and he sees a lot that that ends up going on and then me and him have to battle rap eventually and the movie uh, stop uh-huh. right I'm not gonna tell y'all no more so I'm gonna it'll be on November second so do you know how to rap in real life I know how to do a lot of things man all right let's hear something I got a beat listen, already on come listen, on here see, we go it's too early, it's too early. <laughs> that's not like bullshit I don't want no bullshit listen, no listen, bullshit we gonna get to it we gonna get to it I'm gonna give y'all some before I go. We gonna get to it. We got we, we just was talking about body. How we gonna jump in there from the body? It's no bullshit, man. No bullshit. You feel me? So you, you watch uh, a lot of boxing, UFC, or anything Love like that? Love boxing. I will be watching Terrence Crawford fight tonight. Did you see the uh, weigh in? The weigh in. I listen. I love. <laughs> I love um, Terrence Crawford. I think he's yeah. one of the. The, the, the best right now mm-hmm. to me that's undefeated. He can go, he can switch from uh, or, what's it, orthodox or unorthodox and, stance. And, and yeah, yeah, he can switch. So mm-hmm. anybody like that, and and I think he's a smart person. He don't like to get hit, you mm-hmm. know. So he's exciting to watch, and I hope he wins tonight, which I know he will. Yeah. So I'll definitely be watching. And I watched the UFC fight last night. Oh, too. that shit was crazy. I was very upset with Conor <laughs> McGregor, like to yeah. come back, but that other dude he fought, woo, uh, shit. So he was wrestling. That, he was wrestling bears when he was a kid. Dude, yes. that's dude, crazy. Let me tell you, you see a dude wrestling a bear at that age. You know how strong bears is at any age. <laughs> and that dude was ready. Come on, Conor McGregor. You should have watched the video and said, yeah. "I'm not fighting that dude." I heard they said Conor McGregor was drinking beers and shit before this fight because uh, he knew yeah, he was ass whoop. You don't. You can't train for a dude who fight bears. Nah. How can you? And he want a rematch now too. He better rematch his ass to the bar. He got <laughs> the beer. <laughs> Cause he gonna get his ass with yeah. again, but yeah. now nah, I love fight, man. That's my, that's one of, honestly, one of my favorite sports. Low key. Mm. Yeah, I like, I like boxing a lot too. I love. And they the talking about doing a, a Mayweather Pacquiao too, possibly next year. How you feel about that? <coughs> I think Mayweather will whoop his ass <coughs> again. I, I say this, Floyd's my boy. Mm-hmm. The world know that. I love Floyd. I would love to see Floyd fight somebody else. So Floyd, just because you, you, you call a Ti, you call a Ti too, right? Yeah. So how'd you feel when they was beefing and they had their little brawl at the little burger spot? You know what? I think. <laughs> yeah, you ran right into that one. I think. Yeah. I, th- <laughs> I think yeah. they two grown. You men. slid right into that. I shit. think they two grown men <laughs> that that they will get over their issues yeah. eventually one day. I hope. Yeah. Other than that, I have they both my friends. They mm-hmm. both great people. I have nothing. Negative to say about neither one. This dude so, be tap dancing around. So, I'll be trying to set him up. He been tap dancing. So he tap dancing around the Kanye at the, thing. At the end of the day. That. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you man, better, he better get, get that Sammy Davis man. roll because this nigga is a good tap dancer. <laughs> Need a napkin. Hey, hey you better get that Sammy Davis roll. He tap dancing the shit out of everything. Look, I learned this game. I learned this game. She already Googling the wrong shit. No bullshit. So I don't want to. Yeah, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Play that 6-9 track on her ass. Stupid. <laughs> okay, well, aside from boxing and whatnot, how do you feel about LeBron coming to the Lakers and his past games? I know they just played the Clippers, right? No, they played uh, Warriors the last two. And then we won last night. Yeah. yeah. But did they play the Clippers at all? Yeah, they played them last Saturday. And but LeBron lost, didn't right? play, though, so that don't count. 
<laughs> I love LeBron here. Yeah, me I'm too. Not gonna, I'm not a LeBron fan, not to say like that, like a LeBron, Bron James fan. Mm-hmm. I'm a Kobe Bryant, me too. Uh, Kobe Bryant uh, fan, but I love LeBron. I love anybody. If you, if I was a young kid and I was uh, looking into NBA or I, into, if I was to think, oh, I want to play in the NBA, LeBron is a great role model to look at because he's a hard worker. He's determined to every year win a championship. He's in shape no matter how old he get. You know, and it shows how how serious he is for the game still to this day. Like, you would think he's, like, been in the league for about 15, 16 years. You would think he's going to slow down. He's going to give up. He just never stops. And it's like, how can you hate somebody like that? You know what I'm saying? He just wants to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he do crazy stuff sometimes when he used to keep the ball. I mean, uh, pass the ball when he should have kept it, but he was learning. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just like something new for him that he's doing every year. He's learning something, too, just as well as he's teaching. So I like to watch him. He's very exciting. But no, I'll tell you about I'm not a LeBron James fan. Like, I go cry, oh, LeBron. I'm a Kobe Bryant. Okay, I'm a, I'm, 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 he, Kobe, he started off with the Reds. So you do know? you feel like you can't be a Kobe Bryant fan and a LeBron fan at the same well, time? Well, I'm going to have to be a LeBron James fan because I'm a Laker fan until I die. I don't care if we had you on the team. <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to support Googling that. everything. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I can ball, <laughs> all right? I'm gonna have hey, look, 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 look. Googling this all the it. other players. I'm just saying, if you on the team, I'm going to support, I'm gonna support the, the Lakers no matter what. It's just LeBron is... I don't know how we got him, thanks to Magic. Well, did you see what Co- the report that came out that Kobe told Jeannie Buss, if you want any chance to get LeBron, you need to fire your you brother it. and fire Mitch Kupchak. Everybody. And she took the advice, Everybody. so Kobe played a part and, and, in getting and, LeBron. And it looks good. Hell I yeah. I love the Lakers roster. One of my favorite players on the Lakers roster is Lonzo Ball. I don't care what nobody uh, say. I, th- <laughs> I heard it. Uh, I heard it. The reason why I like Lonzo Ball, I'm going to tell you. He a Scorpio like me, first of all. Okay, then second, I love his daddy. I love how his daddy yeah. is like a, a straight hustler. He's like that old uncle. Exactly. Yeah. He don't play. It's like what, yeah. he, what he want, he going to get. You understand? He teaches his sons that, like, you taught your sons how to come into the to the uh, NBA game with a business. Mm. You know, and they got, if basketball, if he hurt his ankle right now and it was over, at the end of the day, he still got a business now. You know, people can talk all that shit about baller brand now. But no matter what, people going to buy them damn shoes or whatever now. Support them dudes because mm-hmm. Alonzo Ball didn't fail. Did you get a pair? A, huh? Did you get a pair? No, nah, wait, no, Alonzo, send me a pair, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have not got a pair yet, but, you know, I definitely will support yeah. them in time. I just ain't, you know, I haven't seen the shoe or felt it or know how it is, but I just like the whole. <laughs> <laughs> this so, thing is, hey, wow. hey, 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 you good. You know, this camera. thing is good. <laughs> you know, we got camera. Look at He's bullshit. <laughs> Nah, you good. I, listen, I love the dudes because they're young and came in, you know, doing something that no NBA player has never done. Yeah. yeah. You know, and they, and they got respected for it. They went mm-hmm. through their problems, you know, but they got respected for it. They stuck with it, and now look at them. They got a, a whole clan of people that's big baller brand. And now he, I like what their dad did by starting that other league where for kids who did, who couldn't make it in the league, he'll pay you 2000 to come be in this league or whatever, mm-hmm. and you still get to be seen by people or be whatever, a celebrity for whatever time. He's doing something for people. Yeah. He's doing something positive. So I cannot hate somebody like that. And his dad's birthday the same day as mine. <laughs> ah, no bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shout out to LeVar Ball, October 23rd. Happy birthday, my brother. Oh, your birthday coming, coming up, up then. Coming up, man. Coming, coming up. up. That's what's up, man. What you going to do for your birthday? Yeah, what you going to do? Oh, well, 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 a lot. Me and my girl mm-hmm. got a uh, party we doing on the 19th, which is her birthday. Then October 23rd, which is my birthday. But I got a press that I'm doing starting off for body. We doing a press, re- we doing a, a press junket on the 18th. And then I leave on the 24th after my birthday to Chicago to start our tour for the premieres of Body. So we got our first one in Chicago, Philly, uh, I think either Milwaukee or New York, mm-hmm. and then back to L.A., and then I'll be done. So we're doing a press premiere tour and doing all that stuff. So, you know, for then, I, until then, I just be partying with my friends and, part, and eating with my family and enjoying, you know, what I can before I leave. You know, that's all I can do, you know. That's, that's what's up, up. yeah, as it should be. I think, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm old, I'm old enough where... I, I can do chill, back, laid back shit now. Mm-hmm. It don't got to be too much. You know, if it is, I thank you. But I'm I'm older now. I can just sit in the house. If nobody said nothing to me, I can play PlayStation all day and just relax if I wanted to and just watch TV and sports. I'm old now. It just don't look like it. No, <laughs> no bullshit. 
<laughs> you like 30, <laughs> 34? Turning 37. Okay. Don't tell nobody because I just told yeah, you. So I told her, I was like, I think we're we about uh, the same age. 81, yeah. baby. Yeah, I'm 83. 81, baby. Yeah, she, uh, what, she just turned 20. I'm a 97, baby. You yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> no <old> bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, she yeah, she be she be surprising us sometimes. Yeah, you, 90, you look ninety seven, baby. I'm twenty one. August twentieth, Leo. No shit. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Man, I feel old. Man. I, I always like feel a, old when like I, old I be telling. I was telling well, somebody. Young. Y'all both I was telling somebody young. about uh, the movie Boomerang the other day, and they were like, "I was four years old when it came out." I said, "Oh shit, that's a movie I would love to remake." <laughs> I yes. like that movie. That's a fucking movie. You know I a movie I can see you remake, being into man. if they remade? What? Harlem Nights. Oh, don't do that to me. I just. <laughs> ah, that, man. I would love man. to play either Richard or Eddie or yeah. ever, man. Oh, yeah. don't do that to me. That would be hard. Who own all these rights? I think Eddie Murphy Eddie Murphy on the rights to that, don't he? Eddie better quit playing. He playing Dodo Mike right now. Oh, ah, that might hey. be. That's going to be dope, that's too. That's going to be dope. He got that's Eddie Westley up in it. Now, I let heard. me see if you could tap dance out of this question. <laughs> Bill Cosby, second week in prison, got a hamburger patty right to the jaw, man. <laughs> the week, the first week, it was a stale hot dog bun. That's sad, man. The reason why I'm not going to laugh. And, and you want to laugh. laugh? You no, want to laugh. I see no, the eyebrows going in. No, you want to laugh. No, he's blind. He can't see it coming. <laughs> Get the fuck so, out of here. You can't see it coming. <laughs> so that ain't even right. Whoever threw it at him gonna go to, gonna go to hell. They gonna go in the hole for a month. That's fucked up. Okay, now I can see if he can see. I'll be like, that was all. Okay, laugh, but he blind, man. And it's but. fucked up. Okay. <laughs> it's fucked up. Okay, he did what he did or whatever the case, but you ain't gotta throw a, a hamburger pan or a, bun, a bun at the dude. But well, when he got hit with the bun, they said he threw himself down the stairs like, to try yeah. to make it like more intense, like get me out of here, you know. Come on, man. He yeah. just, it's sad to be yeah. eighty some years old. First of all, I feel sorry for every woman if this happened to you in the world. First mm-hmm. off, okay, I think it's totally wrong. I think it's beyond disrespectful to to get a girl in your bed and do something like that. But I just think it's strange for something that happened so many years ago, you know, and somebody to come up with not enough. Not even, I think, enough evidence or whatever the case for something to happen that he did for them to come out to say, I got accused of something. Don't get me wrong. If he, of course, you do something like that, go to hell, go to jail, die, all I care. But just for somebody to be, ha, ah, you can't, you can't, you can't think of it because of his age and be like, oh, he too old. I understand. But at the end of the day, if you do a crime, you should do your time. It's just weird to, because it happened so many years. How can somebody say that and know that it's true or not? You know, it's a word against a word and believing all these people that's coming out. At the end of the day, it's nothing you can do, yeah. you know, and. I think that they got to take into consideration that era, too. A lot of that foul play was a common thing in that era with the with those that t- those type of drugs and all that, even though it's not right. Right. But that was common back then. You know, it's not like now, you know, like, I mean, people do, there's certain types of drugs, but right. to that extent, I mean, they banned that drug that was being used that was, they were, you know, it's putting in people's drinks and the women passing out and all that. But and it's just the, fucked up, though. Yeah. Look at uh, Zimmerman and all these guys, mm-hmm. man. And go down the line. They haven't, why haven't they got these guys mm-hmm. and they doing stuff just as bad as Bill Cosby, if that's the case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you was know? just a director who was let off. Yeah, that Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, yeah Harvey, Weinstein. that's what it's yeah. like. How, how how are these guys getting off and they doing all this abusive stuff and all these women that's coming out? Look at the dude who, I hate to even talk about this one because it was sad, all them girls in the gymnastics. Yeah, the oh, doctor. Yeah. Dude who that's was doing crazy. all that nasty shit to them girls. It's like they got him. He deserved that shit because that's, that's very just fucking Damn right insane. Evil. Yeah. You know? And it's like all these other people, that Harvey Weinsteins and I'm only want to say too many other people. Now, y'all know their name, but they mm-hmm. getting away with doing all this type of stuff. Same as the, the, the people who's killing the, the black people, and they get away with it. And it's like, it's nothing never, it's never, never, nothing can be right. And, and the only way it's going to be right is I don't know how. Because you can have marches, you can have everything, and everything. people still 
It's like it's, it's it either that generation that's out now, or the new generation coming up that's like, fuck it, that ain't my time. It's yeah. everybody don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. So it's like people always say you have to go talk to your community. You got to do this and bring everybody in. Yeah, so you doing, but what about all these other places that's not doing it and they not getting the right insurance, the right health, and all this shit. The people getting stressed and fucked up. Then they don't care if they go rob you, steal you. You at Christmas, and they know Christmas and holidays coming up. They not getting their shit, so people go do shit. And we never gonna do it if we don't get yeah, man. Yeah. the help and what we need to do. Yeah. It's it's crazy and it's sad and it's very unfortunate because you feel like, how am I gonna be the change if like not a, enough change seems like it's even possible to be made because of the effort and like just the dedication to even make that change. But you know, you know, another thing <clears throat> people don't talk about too is aside of like famous people, you have in families where a lot of those, you know, people have been molested and stuff, and families wipe that shit under the rug and they move forward with that. That's like a big thing too. Yeah, yeah. to come you know? out. Yeah. yeah. To come out. And then it'll come out in, in a family and then it's just like brushed off and shit. So it's you know, Bill Cosby is in the the spotlight and all them Harvey Weinsteins and all that, but People need to realize it's just not famous motherfuckers. It's so regular, people, like he said, regular people it's doing people that shit. It's people every day that stuff happened to them. Yeah. And they held, they hold it in. Mm-hmm. They hold it in. They hold it in until they either feel like, I want to come out. Then when they finally do come out, it can be, damn, should I come out? Because what if I don't get the attention? Now everybody knows my fucking business. Yep. And yeah. nobody gave a, a fucking care about it. Or they like, why'd you take so long? We yeah, don't believe it, you. Yeah. And then they're going to say this and that. So mm-hmm. it's a lot of things that make people scared to do it. And somebody could got raped five months ago right now. And they probably just, oh, it might be a person that's old and disgusting that they like, damn, you have you had sex with this person? Like, wow, you let, like, they don't want that stuff to be out there. You know what I'm saying? So... It, it's hard, man. I feel like if it was my family member, of course, you like, fuck them, fuck them. And it's mm-hmm. just, I think, like I said, if you did just, if you do the crime, do your time. If it's, if it's what, if you did it and God know that you did it, he's going to punish you. So at the end of the day, I wish all them dudes the best. But if you did what you did, I'm not picking no sides. I'm not saying I love these guys. I just wish that they never did what they did if they did it. Because you guys, some of you guys was great people, you know. Mm. Yeah, Harvey Weinstein giving people jobs, big producer, but to, you know, doing what he doing to get it. Bill Cosby, he tried to buy networks, try to do everything positive for kids, and then it's like, bam, this guy just does this, and it's like, wow, what do you do? Somebody that you looked up to, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, he is like now he's he's gonna be when he get out, whatever. If he's still living, he gonna be known as a predator. It's like who wants to? You live your life all this. Now you're a predator. You yeah. can't. You gotta be on restrictions all your life. You gotta get watched all your life. You can't travel. You gotta be on a, a brace all your. It's like it's wild. That's crazy. Sad. Bill Cosby with a, a fucking ankle brace for when he do get out. When he get out for the That's rest of crazy. his life, and it's he crazy. can't be around no. Kids, he can't be around nobody. Yeah, nope. and it's he's going to have to get one of them uh, some silicone sex dolls. <laughs> or hopefully his it. wife stay with him if his thing still working. <laughs> but uh, no bullshit. Right, no bullshit. <laughs> and I like that. Go ahead and tell everybody one more time about your film, Bodied, and it's coming out in November uh, November 2nd, right? Well, see, we didn't talk about the other movie, Never Heard, that I got coming out, too. Okay, well, let us know that, too, before we, you know, wrap this up. And I want you to shout out your Instagrams, too, your social media, your following. I just want to know. All that (laughs) shit. All that shit. Nah, uh, November heard. I mean, without November heard. Mm. (laughs) Never heard. (laughs) Never heard is a movie I got with uh, uh, David Banner, Romeo Miller, Carucci, and... It was it was directed by Josh Weber. Riveting picked it up. It's gonna be in theaters November first, and like five hundred theaters for that one day. So it's, it's stuff I'm posting on my site. Y'all can go get tickets, but it's gonna be in like five hundred theaters, right? Probably next to your house. You can definitely go see the movie. It's a, a movie about. Um, it's like a, a, a spiritual movie. You know what I'm saying? One of the positive movies, but they got that bad that that's, that that bad story to it. Mm-hmm. And David Banner's son is Romeo, who. Um, them niggas look nothing alike. So the casting director, I don't know <laughs> so what the fuck they was thinking. Next to you, don't film first. So, um, <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, nah. But uh, Romeo and David Banner is is is, is um David Banner plays his his, son, his his father, and he's in jail for a mm. crime that he didn't commit. And you know it goes to that you know that basic stuff. And my yeah. character in there is a dude 
who um uh, this dude named Dijon Lincoln, he owes me money. And I'm basically in the movie trying to get my money. I ain't gonna tell y'all what it was, but it's a good serious role. Boom, but it comes out November first in like five hundred theaters everywhere. Just look up in the listings. I can't think of all the stuff right now. I post it. And uh Body will be in theaters November second. And that's the that's a uh, real movie I think that everybody should see to uh, see because it's a free of speech movie and it's and it's and nowadays people should really do do watch this movie so you can handle yourself like this instead of picking up a gun just go have a rap battle and, and take it out on somebody you know what I'm saying definitely and so it's, it's it's a great movie it's it's directed the fuck out of Joseph Kahn I mean it's gonna be it's be, it's like not to even say that's better than the eight mile y'all remember eight mile yeah, so of course. It's, it's some new shit that y'all probably wouldn't even believe that I could like if y'all knew me, like oh, that's crazy. Y'all gonna see a talent in me that y'all gonna be like, wow. And me sitting here waiting that day, I didn't even see that. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's it's gonna be a great movie, November second. Please make sure y'all go see that movie as well, and that'll be worldwide, so y'all can see that movie everywhere. And it won't be in the theater for one day. And then November 28th, it'll be out on YouTube Premium. So so for the people who didn't get to go to the theater to see it, November 28th, it'll be on YouTube Premium, so y'all can see that too. And yeah, what about like Netflix and stuff? Is eventually gonna be on that? Say on Netflix? I don't know. It might, it might go on YouTube because you no know, YouTube got oh, the same yeah. thing as Netflix. Netflix YouTube yeah. TV, right? Isn't you, they, don't nah, they have YouTube he just TV says though? YouTube Premium. YouTube oh, YouTube Premium? premium? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Like, you know how it's, it's like a Netflix, but it's gonna go on there November 28th. Okay. After the, the movie's out. Okay. You know okay. So, so tell everybody where they can find you on social media, and um, we definitely <sighs> want to have you come back when Stevie's here. Oh, fuck Stevie. <laughs> Man, my name is Jackie Long, and I'll never do you wrong. My Instagram is Jackie Long. My uh, Snapchat is Jackie Long Actor Gang or whatever. It's one of them, same thing. Uh, do we still use Facebook? Do I don't. Use my, my manager is saying okay. I need to get one, but I don't now, I think that's that Jackie Long. <laughs> Twitter is Jackie Long. And at the end of the day, y'all want to buy some of my clothes or do something, just go to actorgang.com. And y'all can see everything else I'm doing. And oh, I'm so you got a clothing line and didn't even bring us nothing? Didn't bring shit. Didn't bring <laughs> shit. Didn't give a fuck. Okay, didn't give a fuck at all because Stevie Williams' ass didn't even come. So fuck y'all show right now. And DJ Ski, you should fire Stevie Williams. Okay? DJ, shout out to DJ Ski. That's my dog. And, a, yeah. and there you have it. That's Jackie Long. You listen to The Fix on Dash Talk X. Yeah. That's right. Yeah.